Hey, I'm Dr. White. Welcome back to the Dr. White Board. I thought maybe we'd talk about bifocals today because, frankly, I'm starting to have some trouble, and you might be too. It's that over 40 eye stuff we talked about, and one of the ways we can take care of it is by wearing bifocals. Now, for sure, you can go to the pharmacy and you can pick up some of those cheaters. Um, they don't look so great, but they work, and you can buy 10, 12, 20 of them, just litter your life with reading glasses. But if you don't want to go and do the on and off thing, bifocals might be the way to go. A couple different types of bifocals. By the way, did you know that Benjamin Franklin actually invented bifocals? The guy's a genius. Electricity, bifocals, that clearly he lived to be 40. Cool stuff. Now, old-fashioned or traditional bifocals we call flat tops and you can actually see the bifocal right in the lens. These lenses give you two distances where you can see, you can see way far away, we call that out at infinity, and you can also see at a fixed distance from your eye. It's usually eh, about 16 inches away. Oh my gosh, it's an apparition. Anyway, do it again. <laughs> but you're a little bit limited. And if you have a life where you work at different distances, kind of like at a computer, for example, there's no place in the bifocal for that distance. And so we move on to a blended bifocal or no line bifocal or a progressive lens. They all mean the same thing. The basic progressive lens is shaped like an hourglass. Your distance vision is up top, just like the regular bifocal. There's a space in the middle for your intermediate vision. It's usually relatively narrow, but not always. We'll talk about that in a minute. And then a space down at the bottom for the reading. Now, with the modern fancy smaller glasses, sometimes it's hard to cram in the reading part down at the bottom. We'll talk about some of the different lenses another time. But the one lens to think about, if you spend your whole day in front of a computer, and nowadays, who doesn't? There's an office lens, and the column looks more like this, where it's a little skinnier up top. It's kind of fat in the middle and even fatter down at the bottom because really you're spending most of your world at these two distances. So that's all well and good. What are some of the downsides to wearing blended bifocals? Well, if you can get used to them, there are no downsides, but there's a challenge. When we make this central column of clarity, this hourglass, we have to push the blurriness somewhere and the blur gets pushed to the outside of the lens. When you first wear your bifocals, you'll have to learn to point your nose at the thing that you're trying to see. So if you see someone with new bifocals, you can almost always tell that they have no-line bifocals if it looks like their nose is on a swivel, because you're all over like this, but after a while it becomes kind of subtle. You just kind of point your new nose. A little bit up to look at things up close, a little bit down to see things in the distance, but you're really not able to do the shifty eye, the snidely whiplash thing. You have to kind of turn your head. Works great, especially after you get accustomed to it, and it's a dramatically superior way to take care of your up-close vision than using the over-the-counter readers. So, if you're over 40, like me, and you start to need to have some help up close, with or without the haircut, think about a no-line bifocal, a progressive lens. We'll talk some more about the different types later at the Dr. Whiteboard. Thanks for coming.